all my data needs to be in the same place. This is a myth. Now, if, is it easier if all the data is in the same place? Well, of course. It's one connection you have to make into your visualization platform or whatever it may be. But that doesn't mean that those connections need to exist on the same place, right? I know even for, for some of the dashboards we build for our clients, uh, we have, we're pulling in data from five or six different sources. And that's not a problem. You know, you can, there are a lot of different uh, visualization tools that can easily mix those together and, and understand, and you can meld those, those data sources together to, to get to paint your picture. So I'm not a data expert. Okay. And I know that I'm getting dashboards and at least getting sources of data from all different places. What's the bare minimum I should know to make it so that I can analyze it and get actual insights from it? So the hope is that you'd have the data formatted in a similar way. Now, I'd say in any on an average dashboard, for let's say a media dashboard where you're looking at basic media KPIs, engagement rate, click through, things like that, you could easily have three, four sources, right? If you're running a paid search campaign, you're going to use Google, Bing, things like that. If there's SEO involved, you've got a couple more data sources. If you have um, some banners in market, banners in market, DCM basic, yeah, might be basic, or other, basic whatever buys, answer. like not even complex, uh, you know, media uh, engagements. Right. It, it doesn't necessarily need to be all in the same place. It just needs to be consistent if possible and accessible, right? I mean, you have to be able to access it to be able to build something. Tagging will be different, obviously, based on. The, the channel, but you have right. to do it in some sort of structure that you be you would be able to compare or, or have it in a consistent manner. And Jamie's throwing up uh, a visual of what you know, like let's say for a paid search campaign, what simple UTM parameters would look like. This would be an example of um, you know the kinds of things that need to be in lockstep and formatted the same. Otherwise, you're going to be you know trying to measure and look at things that can't actually be combined together.